Hi students, here we go, back to white box learning. We're almost done with our mousetrap car competition challenge. So now I wanna go over with you uh, how to build a mousetrap car and test it in this program, okay? So you've completed, hopefully so far, almost every one of these assignments here on the left. Now we gotta go to the engineering aspect. So up top, click on engineering. And it's gonna bring you to this uh, page where you can now work on your car. Now, obviously, you don't see anything right now, right? You have to come over to the left here, and you need to click on the eyeball for the different parts of your car to show up. Okay? So, turn all these eyeballs on so you can see them. Then, by clicking the uh, wrench, you can make changes to your car. So, the chassis. You'll see that there are four different types of chassis that you can make. All right? I want you to... Sorry about that. That's kind of cool. But I want you to stick with the rally car, okay? The rally car is what we're all going to make so we're all on the same page. So make sure you stay on rally. But here, you can change the length of your car. You can change uh, what color it is. You know, I'm going to do, um, oh, man, so many choices here. Pink. All right. There we go. Got a nice hot pink car right now. Obviously, color doesn't really affect performance, but it sure makes it look good. So when I'm done with changing that, I mean, if I want to change the length, I can go over here and I'll change it to like, you know, 290 millimeters. Hit apply. You see that it shrinks my car down a little bit. I'll hit done. Now, based off of the lessons you've learned, there are some key things to help make a car go fast, right? Obviously, you want to reduce friction. You want to increase the force applied. You want to decrease mass, right? Uh, the size of the wheels matter too. Those are all things you're going to want to consider while building a car so it goes optimal performance for distance. Uh, front wheel axle. Click on this over here. I can change what the axle is made out of. I can make it out of aluminum if I like. Okay. Um, the bearings. Oh, there are no bearings. Maybe I should use... Oh, man. As you go down the list here, you see you get better and better parts. Sorry, my dog is itching right now. Uh, brass bushings. Let's include those. The front wheels, oh, CDs, those look cool. If I hit apply, it's gonna make those changes for me now, okay? This is a funky looking car. You can change the axle length, how wide the wheels are, okay? Like how wide they are apart. A lot of different things you can change. The oh, wheel color, mm, definitely gotta do that. Oh, let's put royal blue in. All right, well, obviously you can't really do blue on a CD, so it doesn't work out so well. But uh, that being said, there's different things you can do to make changes to your car based on the parameters you put in. Let's go uh, let's see what these do. Oh, those are cool. But I don't really want that for my front wheels. I want that for what's the rear racers. That's, that's what I'm talking about right there. That's what I'm talking about. Those look nice. So now I got some cool front wheels on my car. If you come down here and click on mass, as you make changes to your car, this is a cool feature to have open. As you make changes to your car, so let's go back to the uh, the wheels over here. Uh, what was I looking for? Wheel color, no, the rear racers here. If I put CDs in, watch what happens to my mass when I hit apply. Do you see it? Oh, the front axle assembly just got heavier. So maybe I want to go back to what I had before, the rear racers, put those back in here, and the mass goes down, okay? So you can make changes and watch how it affects your car. You can also look at how it affects the friction of your car. All right, going back to the front wheels again, it looks like my front wheels have quite a bit of, fr uh, no, just a little bit of friction. The purple is the, the real rear bearings. They look like they have a lot of friction. How can I affect that? Well, I need to go over here and find where I have bearings on here. So I gotta hit apply, hit done for that to go away, and I can open up my rear one. And I can go through here and again make changes to my car. So what do I have for my wheels? Oh, let's go with CDs in the back. CDs are always cool. Bam, look at that. Rear axle assembly, the mass just went way high, but the friction just got smaller. So you have a trade-off to do sometimes. When you finally finish your car, you can also do the powertrain. Look at how it affects the powertrain. All right. A bunch of different things you can work on. Okay. When you're finally done with your design, I got to close all these out here. I got to make sure I hit done. 
done. There you go. You go to file. This is my card. It's about a like. Uh, another thing you can affect is the length of this arm here. That's an important one to look at. Go save your work and enter the competition. So this is my super spe uh, super speeder design. Okay. You can put notes in here if you make changes between different uh, styles of so CD wheels. It just maybe it's a, it's a change that I made to it. Okay. You can save a working copy so you can come back to work on it later. Or if you like what you did, you can save your work and enter the competition. So that's really what we got to do. All right. So now I have saved my design. I can now go to competition. Here we go. I'm at the racetrack. Now you'll notice here that there are two lanes. Okay. You have to have two cars racing at a time. But Mr. Mac, I only made one car. Well, good. So you come over here, you click on the car that you made, and that can be contender one. Click on it again. Oops. And that can also be contender two. So now you notice on here, in lane one, I have super speeder. In lane two, I also have super speeder. When you have that filled out, go ahead and hit start. It's going to bring my cars to the line here. And it's going to race them. Oh, man, it's actually not a bad car. This thing is doing great. It went pretty far. Oh, you notice the finish line is like way down there. I didn't get to the finish line. Bummer. So you'll notice here a bunch of stats about my car. Okay. The frag, the friction, the traction, propulsion, all things that you can try and modify each time. So let's go back and let's reset the simulation. No, not this. Yeah, here. I have already made, well, your, your sub and I have already made a whole bunch of different cars. Oh, you guys made cars too. Look at this. Awesome. See, so you guys are already up in here. And you can race each other's cars. That's kind of cool, too. Uh, where's my car? Do I have a... Oh, the Mach, the Mach 1. That was my car. And I also made the Mach 2. It's so cool to see you guys already building cars and trying them out in here. So here were my two cars that I made the first time. Let's see what happens here. Your goal is to get to the finish line. Pew! Oh man, that thing's a rocket. Uh, but it didn't make it. So your goal is to get to the finish line. So you get your cars. What's next? Okay. You can go here and click what's next. and It'll tell you what you got to do. But basically, you notice here it says out of spec. That's a problem. Which means that I am not abiding by the rules of the race. I'm cheating. So I can go to outputs. And over here. I just got to stop this race. Hold on. I got to get rid of that noise in the background. There you go. Thank you. Go to outputs. And if I click on design specifications, all right, it's going to show me the rules of the race. Okay. So first off, uh, chassis type. All right, they're all balsa woods. Okay. That has to be a balsa rally car. Did my car cross the finish line? We're looking at, it says right here, super speeder is the car that I just built. And that's what it's printing out this report about. All right, whatever car you build as your first competitor is what it's going to print out for your report here. Did the car cross the finish line? Well, it's allowed to cross the finish line, but did I actually, did my design go across the finish line? No. Your goal is to make this say yes. If you get this to say yes, take a screenshot of this file, okay, and post it in Google Classroom as part of your uh, report as part of your submission for your grade, okay? Put in Google Classroom a picture of this if you get it to go past the yes. Now, coming down below though, if you have red lines here, that's a problem. You can't have red lines. All right, cost is the only one you can have for red line. I don't care about cost. Make it a million dollar car, okay? So ignore that. But what does matter is the wheel diameter and the axle position. You'll notice here that I'm allowed to go up to 20 millimeters for my rear axle position, 
but I'm at 25. So that means I need to go back to, I need to go back to my car design and change my axle. Same thing for my diameter of my wheels. I have to go back there and change, change my wheels, okay, to make sure that they're within spec. Um, as much as possible. If you can't, just make a car that goes past the finish line, okay? Have fun racing each other's cars. Maybe share with your friends about which car design you made. Have fun racing them. So by the end of day Friday, I want to see a car that says yes here. That's the most important thing. If you cannot get it to say yes without having red here, that's okay. All right, if, you, if you just can't figure it out. But if you can get a car that says yes and everything here is black, which means it's okay except for costs, then A plus for this part of the challenge. All right. If you can get your car to say yes, and you have like one or two blacks, then you get a B. That's awesome. All right. But to get to A, it's got to be all black and say yes. Take a screenshot of that, post it in Google Classroom. Whatever your best car design is, post it in Google Classroom. All right, guys? Awesome. Then this section here, the build and test, that's for when we return to school. We're actually going to hopefully build these cars and race them down the hallways of school. So you can always go back to engineering and fix your cars, modify your designs up a little bit, and then go back to competition and keep trying them out. If you have any questions, guys, feel free to reach out to me or your sub. Um, we both have we've tried it and made a lot of cars. Looks like a lot of your friends here have also made cars, which is awesome. So, guys, good luck. Have fun racing each other and make some pretty cool cars, all right?